think there is the obligation of the member states not to see only the narrow interests of one me own member state, but also to try to put yourself into the shoes of another member state. Not your neighbors, but someone else in another, another region. And I think the best uh, examples could be now that countries from north, from east, should understand much better the countries in south, there is a huge migration pressure, but at the same time, countries from south, from west, should understand also countries in east, which are very nervous after the Crimea annex uh, annexation in uh, 2014. So, the obligation is to find the solutions and compromises uh, and uh, not to come up with the positions that we want only like that and we are going to uh, boycott or block in case we don't get exactly what we want. But it means then that decisions are not always very clear cut and, and, and uh, mm, uh, as the compromises are never uh, such that everybody will be happy. So today there is a different uh, situation because of Brexit. Member States need time, UK needs time also to see what will be the results, what is going to happen now, what is going to happen in the economy, what is going to happen with all the political processes in UK but also in the Member States and then for sure some kind of reforms are needed in parallel of the exit talks. Uh, and there is clear influence also for the candidate countries and the enlargement policy. 